Okay, bud. So, so what have you what learned? What was your first impression of Lucy? She looks like an elephant to me. How'd the meeting go? The meeting went badly. What happened? Well, the, the zoo is uh, absolutely implacable. They they won't consider uh, even saying that when Lucy is feeling well, that we can take her to the to the sanctuary. So what now? Well, we're going to keep up uh, our campaign, and we're going to get more and more people who insist on her leaving, and hopefully they'll come to their senses. What went through your mind in the meeting then when you heard this? I was they terribly were... disappointed. They said in the morning paper, the director of the zoo said that uh, they were no longer going to be in the elephant business, that they were, they were going to have Lucy here until she died, and then they were going to have no more elephants. Then in this meeting, we're told that uh, they uh, may bring another elephant in to be a companion for Lucy. And if, if Lucy is so happy alone, I don't know why they need a companion for Lucy. But that's what they said. And so the bottom line for the zoo is that they are not moving Lucy. That's the bottom line. For, for, well, the, she can't be moved now, apparently, because uh, uh, her health is, is such that she shouldn't be moved. But when her health improves and she's able to move, we want her to move to the Paws Sanctuary. And the zoo will not uh, agree to that. So what are you going to do about it? Can you well, push we're going to keep it? up our campaign, and then PETA is considering a lawsuit, and we'll see what happens. Is there anything the public can do? Do you have a message for the public? If the public, I hope that they will absolutely inundate the zoo in in uh, requests to get that elephant out of there. That's what I hope. Was it a wasted trip then? A wasted what? A wasted trip up here? To oh, no, this? no, absolutely not. I. Uh, uh, this is Dr. Poole. Dr. Poole is... Uh, a world-renowned elephant expert, and she has looked Lucy over, and she just spoke with her husband in Norway, and he's already seen a live shot of today's uh, press conference, which means that they're hearing about Lucy all over the world, and that's exactly what happened with Maggie. It became a worldwide story, and by the time that uh, it happened, eventually the, the zoo agreed to, for Maggie to go to pause, where she's completely happy. And the zoo director, uh, Pat, uh, what's his last name? Uh, Pat, uh, I can't remember. Lampy, yeah. uh, what is it? Didn't you say Lambert? Lampy, Lampy, I think it's Lampy, Pat Lampy. Uh, he is just uh, delighted with the way things have worked out for Maggie. She's thriving at pause. And we could do the same thing with this elephant. Is this as much about putting pressure on the zoo then, with through the media? We've and started public? putting pressure on them and have put pressure on them. And fortunately, there are two organizations here in town that have been put pressure pressure on them. Z, uh, zoo Check uh, Canada and uh, Voice, uh, Voice of Animals. And they, they've, worked, they've been working tirelessly. But this could ultimately end up in court. Well, I don't know. Now that I have really not had played a part in that. That's Peter, and uh, they said that they would have an announcement probably in two, three, four weeks. What is your part in this? My part in this was coming back here and speaking out for this poor elephant. I uh, have been going out and speaking for animals at every inv invitation, anytime I could. And Mr. Rucker, what was it like for you to finally meet Lucy today? Well, I was very delighted to meet her, and uh, I think that uh, she'd fit in beautifully at Paws. But what did you see here today that leads you to believe that she shouldn't stay here at the zoo? I beg your pardon? What did you see here today that leads you to believe that Lucy isn't good, isn't well off here at the zoo? Well, it's not, now this is a nice big field, but she doesn't always have this available to her, I understand. She spends a lot of her time, maybe 75% of her time, in that barn. And then there's no other elephant. If Lucy's health should improve and uh, her feet should become, but they're not going to become uh, uh, healthy once that, once that happens. I understand that she has a chronic foot problem, she has arthritis, she's overweight, she has a lot of problems. But if all of these problems were solved, this elephant would still be miserable because it's alone. And they're very social animals. You can speak to the Dr. Poole can explain this better than I. Just tell them right of that, that situation. Elephants live in a very large social network. Um, they live in families. Um, they're 
female spends most of their time within five meters of another adult female. So for Lucy to spend her time alone, uh, mostly on a concrete floor, um, in the cold, uh, is just not right for adults. And uh, Edmonton Zoo, the Valley Zoo, is really on the edge of uh, the spectrum of zoos. And so, of course, this is where we are focusing. Um, it would be great if elephants didn't have to live in, in zoos at all, that they could live in, in sanctuary-type uh, places.